Hello there, this is Vic Benedict. We're on mission one, or excuse me, the first real mission, I guess, mission two, Laporte de la Enfer. And this is uh, Devil May Cry on Dante Must Die difficulty, the hardest difficulty that you're allowed to play in this game. So we just have a bunch of uh, scarecrow, scarecrows out here. Anyway, so I'm going to be taking you through this entire campaign. And I actually was forced to lower the texture quality on this so I have the shadow values and the anti-aliasing, the v-sync, all that, 60 frames a second it's not variable bitrate but I did have to do that so it's a little concession to the guide but it still looks damn good but uh, this game is just such a masterpiece easily the best game I've played this year like new, new game that I've played and I was dissing this game not too long ago but that was completely uncalled for so if you've been following my previous guide, I've been addressing extreme editing in which every cutscene is cut out and there's a lot of, f uh, not really, I don't want to say like fast editing, but just relevant editing. So, you know, everything that's not relevant is cut out and put onto the um, cutting room floor, so to speak. Um, because on most of these encounters, you'll have a little cutscene, but. Anyway, so I've maxed out my vitality bar, purchased all the devil trigger um, runes, and but we have a great boss. I actually like the bosses on this game, except I don't like I don't really care for Agnes or whatever his name is, Angus, and the fi the final boss whom you fight twice. You're gonna fight every boss. I mean, probably three times in some 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 cases, but. Uh, the bosses that I do enjoy, I like the boss on this stage, I like the boss, uh, the frog boss, and I I don't think that the, the she-devil in the forest, she's not too bad either, she's a pretty fun fight. However, uh, later when we come back to this area, I'll show you how to get the gold orb, so I'll be getting all the items that I can possibly get, all the hidden, uh, hidden... Uh, like like when you stand on a place, like when the when his arms glowing and it marks the spot of where some orb uh, the orb catches are, I'll be getting those. And uh, I won't be fleeing from any fights, I don't believe. And, and there's not many that you can flee from anyway, so I I might flee from I, I don't know I I probably won't. It's just kind of unnecessary to do that. But boy, oh boy, this is a challenging game. But I, I feel like I feel it not, and not only do I see it on screen, but I feel like I'm getting better, and that's a good thing because I could bring you better strategies now that I know more about this game, having played it, uh, you know, at least ten times. I played this game, and it's just it's one of those games where it's just so goddamn fun. It doesn't matter how many how much you play it, or you know. So watch out for these guys that like to guard. And, by the way, on this mode here, I, act I have the turbo mode activated since this is uh, on the PC. You also have access to legendary night mode, which puts a hell of a lot of enemies into the game. It's actually, I think it's harder than this mode. Because I think the damage you receive is on, I think it's on hard and difficulty, Son of Sparta. But anyway, basic combos, you have the four, tri uh, the four Y attacks, you have... Y Y pause Y Y Y. You have Y pause Y Y, and you also have Y Y Y pause Y. So I do all those in the course of the guide, and well, I have I can't really say that because I've only made this first video. I haven't done the guide, but I will show you how to do the caliber attack, which is a pretty good move. I, I don't do it too much because it, it I can't get the thing to work too well. But for every move in this game, there's a, well not every move, but for the, some of the moves, there's a, a an exceed equivalent of it, which is just his, you know, his bonus fiery attack that he does here. But with these blades here, these enemies here, they're called blades, you'll see that, watch how when I'm hitting them, this guy right here, you'll see it in a second when he jumps over to the left. See, I'm hitting him and he's blocking. What you do is you jump over him and then grab him from behind just like when we fight the knights that's what they do as well however 
You gotta be careful though because you don't get iframes in this game when you're doing throws. Which I don't agree with at all, but it you can't do anything about it. This isn't God of War. And you know where they give you iframes. So it's just a lot of these guys over here. And I would highly recommend farming for items as much as you can. By that I mean just go through the different just go through the different uh, difficulty modes and, and pick up all the items. I, l I love this game's structure, like how everything stacks, and you can go to any difficulty you want, pick up the item, save your progress, and it's just really great. But for how nice this game looks, how how ma how much of a masterpiece it is as far as the gameplay, it, it especially for a game that's not that old. I mean, they had the checkpoints working better in the first game honestly in the third game as well but this game is horribly inconsiderate with checkpoints just I mean you'll be halfway through a level well I shouldn't say maybe not halfway but pretty far into a level and you die they throw you all the way back to the beginning of the level sometimes so unless you don't have a, a gold orb you're in for a, a lot of inconvenience so what I would advise is just get as many items as you can. I won't be using items frequently, but when I do use them, it's only because I don't want to lose too much progress. Like for instance on the boss battle, I did not use any items. I won't use any items on the frog boss as well. As for the other end, and I mean, it's just going to hap happen as it goes. But uh, yeah, this game is the worst offender I've ever seen. Anyway, so you have this hidden cache and then you also have this hidden cache of orbs right there okay so now we're in the port there's not going to be any enemies here uh, there's an orb up there you can get I would pick up if I, if I were you I, I would buy the the get more orbs ability which doesn't mean you, you literally get more when you pick them up it just means that the pull when you're you know, it gives you more magnetic properties so that you don't have to go out of your way to get the orbs uh, that uh, it only counts for orbs that you get from smashing objects and from killing enemies so over here I'm going to demonstrate how to do the caliber move when you're in the air you as you're holding the right bumper there it is right there it didn't connect but there's also an exceed if you have the exceed activated you can have a fire attack going with it but when you're in the air you hold right bumper and then it says you press back and forward but it's relative to where the character's back is so it's back forward and Y so you gotta you, you have to always compensate for that there is iframes in the jump uh, when you just do a standard jump you have iframes so take advantage of that and you also get iframes like I mentioned in the last video from uh, DT canceling which is called devil trigger canceling so anytime you think you're going to get hit and you have the devil, you have at least three slots activated, you can in, you could uh, use the devil trigger to to not take damage. So we have a couple of skippable fights up here, but there's just the they're just weaklings, so I would definitely fight them. Okay, so this move right here there's actually a challenge associated with it. It's just doing the buster attack and then holding holding the B button down and you can use the enemies as a shield. And here I'm just doing some standard juggling. This game heavily rewards co um, creative fighting and, and doing combos and doing creative kills. So all the, all the red orbs that you get are used to buy items and all of the stylish points that you accrue during the level in which you get at the end of the level in the tally sheet which I don't include because it's just it's unnecessary in my opinion for a guide uh, those let you buy upgrade abilities I really like this character he's only got the one gun but it works very well and you need the charge shot level 3 some people they've actually recommended it to me and stuff I, I leave everything default except I put the exceed at right trigger. I cannot get used to having the, the gun at the right trigger. 
So I, um, if you want to try that, you might work. It might work for your particular play style, but for mine, it doesn't it does not work. And believe me, I've tried it. I just I cannot. It just doesn't acquiesce to my playing style. In other words. So, the basic rule of thumb on enemies that are devil triggered, you have to, to you know, you like to cancel out to cancel out the effect of their devil trigger. You have to use your devil trigger. That's the easiest way. You don't have to. Obviously, you might not have the devil trigger available, but that will, that's the easiest way to compensate for any dis dis disadvantage you have when enemies are devil triggered. So we're coming up on the boss over here, and I've kept in. What did I keep in? I kept in um, the fight. Well, not it's not a fight, but the the dealing here with the combat adjudicator, who are they're very more they're they're much more elastic kind of when you do the the hits and they actually respond more than the adjudicators in the previous game. Uh, now for the previous game, these are very difficult for me anyway. These are a lot easier this time around. One of my favorite moves is to do the roulette spin. While you're in the air, you press Y, Y, you pause, and then press Y again. It gives you a little bit more height. Uh, but for the boss battle up here, you want to latch onto his head and or just jump onto, uh, you know, just double jump up to where his head is. And, and uh, when you think you're going to get hit, devil trigger. That's the best advice I can give you. Now, your ability to do throws in this game is, is based on your performance and also it's not as lenient as the previous games and also on this difficulty the houses that he smashes nothing gives you health so you're gonna have to depend on your devil trigger to refill you a little bit uh, you can cancel out of that I think I missed once and I got it once you could cancel out if you're in the midst of the explosion devil trigger cancel but you can't do it too early or too late obviously too late but too early too will get you uh, a lot of damage dealt to your person so right there I did the roulette spin. And even as you're you're rolling and, and, and jump, jumping, you can also do that second jump. So just, uh, this, this game is all about skill. That's why I, I really like it. Um, so, I mean, if you're going to give yourself some hang time, you're, you're, you're going to be wanting to use the regular shot. Otherwise, do the charge shot here. There is where I took the damage, but the next time he does that, I will get... Okay, now when he charges like that, you've got to wait until he's just about to charge, and then you evade. Or you could try double canceling, which will work too. But it's just pretty much we're, we're doing a, a large uh, assault on his head. Uh, you don't want to stay too far away from him or he'll do he'll charge you but if you stay too close he like he likes to guard and he also does this here's the table hopper evade right there see that how wide of a berth it gives you and you evade at the last second but the more you hit him the more you keep on top of your hits the more he will uh, succumb to, to a throw and I think I get him throw anytime like the enemies uh, give out like an audio or like a sigh or they look like they're they're indisposed, you can grab them. There's canceling out of the explosion right there. So I took no damage. And it's a tough fight, but I, I could feel I feel myself getting better and I'm I'm really glad about that. And this game is just really rewarding. It's so good of a game. So obviously he now he's devil triggering and these bosses they get most aggressive near the end of their lives, so that's what you're gonna have to compensate for and just realize uh, they do more damage and they're more aggressive so that's the end of the first mission that was a good one we're going to be moving into mission two next so that's exactly where i'll see you thanks for watching